What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new reaction and welcome to day number 15 of Reactmas. And today, we are watching the Isle of Man TT, the world's most dangerous motorcycle race. We've done one Man TT reaction before in the past, and dude, these guys, I mean, the definition of crazy. Insane, bro. The cojones these people have to do these races, unbelievable. All I know, it's on windy roads and they drive really fast, so. <laughs> We're about to get into it. Going to the channel, hit the subscribe button, drop a like for more Man TT reactions. Other than that, let's get into it. It's absolutely just beyond your wildest dreams to think that you could come here and race a motorcycle. The Isle of Man TT is like a religion. It's the oldest motorcycle race in the world. It's the oldest motorcycle race in the world? That is crazy. I did not know that. You can stand on the footpath and you could literally reach out and touch the riders going past at close to 200 miles an hour. Jeez. The houses are passing you so quick, sometimes it feels like you're inside a video game. Bro, that that is that made me sick to my stomach. Just this angle. Oh my goodness. Cheese and rice. There's no way. There is actually no way. <laughs> Good lord. It's frightening. It's damn dangerous and it stresses me out. Yeah. Unless I'm very much mistaken, Mark, this is the greatest motorsport event in the world. Bro, Loki, yeah, yeah, I don't, I can't think of another race that is this intense and like, being that close, they said you could reach out and touch the drivers. First off, don't do that. Do not do that. <laughs> but if you wanted to, you could. Yeah, I think there is nothing on this world quite like the main TT races. Like, these are actually, this is actually insane. Well, that's beautiful. Between Ireland and Britain in the Irish Sea sits the Isle of Man. A sleepy tax haven for most of the year. Bro. Bro. It was a blur. They were a blur. They just, wow. 200 miles an hour. Dude, I hit 80 in the truck and I get scared sometimes. <laughs> I've come here to witness the most dangerous road race on earth. It's about 200 kilometers an hour, straight out the front here, absolute lunacy. Wow. I want to find out what drives these riders to test themselves and their machines in a brutal event called the TT, the Tourist Trophy. There's a lot to get right and a lot that can go wrong, so it, it is part sprint race part endurance race and it's a time trial so it's so unique i mean like one pebble just one pebble on the road it's over it's done for you lose all control like the way they lean around the curves they haven't even shown a good clip of it yet but like their knees are literally centimeters away like oh my Peter gosh Brock used to say that great race tracks have got consequences Bro. The Isle of Man TT is the ultimate road course. It's the fastest, wildest, and most dangerous racetrack I've ever seen. And for the riders that compete here, there is absolutely no room for error. Yeah, literally none. Wow. In its 104 years, 234 riders have died. 234 died. Not even like injured, critically injured, never racing again. No. D-E-D. -E -D. Dead. <laughs> 
I laugh, but no, this is serious. Two, bro, that's crazy. It says on the back of your past that motor racing is dangerous. This is dead set dangerous, isn't it? Yeah. It is. It really yeah. is. It's, uh, it's frightening. Wow. Aussie rider Cameron Donald is one of over 200 starters this year. And when you add the fans, it's like an invasion. With Cameron, I want to know, like, how do you practice? <laughs> like, how do you practice for this race? Are there tracks out there that simulate these roads, or do they just wait till one late night? Hopefully, they don't run into any cops or anything, and nobody's on the road, and they just gun it. Like, how do you get to the point to being like, okay, I'm gonna race in the main TT race? His girlfriend Karen, herself a keen motorcyclist, they've been planning for the race all year. So is this normal nervous start uh, tension? It kind of is. Normal is just <laughs> done the night yeah, before. Year. Is it? Or late night last night, obviously. Yeah, Usually we like to have this done the night before, everything, but by the time we finish, like 11 o'clock, just like, get out of here and worry about it tomorrow. So what's Karen's job in this world? <laughs> um, keep me <it> calm. <laughs> yeah, for real. Dude, I couldn't even imagine. See, when I was, when I was eight, I raced dirt bikes for like, a month. I, I, I say I raced dirt bikes. I went to like three races, okay? <laughs> but but I did, and I remember being terrified just by myself on these dirt tracks, like not even going that fast. You know, we were kids. But I remember still being terrified. So I couldn't even imagine what's going through that man's head right now. He has to race on these streets going 200 plus miles an hour. No. Cameron grew up in Warrandyte in Victoria. It was his dad, Ken, who introduced him to the thrill of the two wheeler. Lots of bike photos, not not many other ones. <laughs> we had it consumed a fair bit of time, didn't it? <laughs> it, did. it took up a lot of time. From a young age, Cameron began winning and winning. I remember mum actually saying to me, you know, you can't, when you're going to buy or build a house, you can't live in a motorbike. And I was saying to her, yeah, mum, you can't race a house. So I think True. then she just... Uh, that's facts, though, that's facts. I need to put that on a T-shirt. Which gave up. <laughs> TT is held over a fortnight. One week for practice, one week for racing, seven races in all. Wow. And in between, the public can go flat out, no speed limit on the island road course. Everyone that races here knows the dangers and they accept them and they do their best to ride accordingly. Wait a minute. They said anybody when that course is marked off throughout the week they can drive on it as fast as they want <laughs> oh my gosh i can just picture some soccer mom like all right i'm letting her eat and in the in the minivan or something just letting her go <laughs> but i think it's sad in this world that we're all so wrapped in cotton wool these days and there's so few opportunities to do anything dangerous well buddy you picked one of the best ones i guess one of the most dangerous ones cameron a plumber when he's not racing there's no event bigger than this. Bro, part-time plumber, part-time man TT racer, that's, that's badass. That is badass. Riders set off at 10 second intervals. It's all about the fastest lap of the island. And that's what makes it so pure and so dangerous. Oh, okay. So they're not racing to like finish in first place like against the other person. They're just trying to get the fastest lap time. That makes more sense. Okay. Start line, you're looking down that first hill and uh, because it's not a mass start, you're sitting there getting waved off one at a time. Yeah. The, the pressure on you, you know, everyone's looking at you and it's uh, it's a rush I've never had out of any other, any other race. There's just uh, so few Bro. events in the world where we can do such a thing, you know, where you can close off a road and, and race a motorbike around it. It's such a beautiful thing. 61 kilometres of public roads. Wow. Over 200 corners to be negotiated. Top speed, 330 kilometres an hour. Bro. And you know what? Those roads, not a pothole in sight. Kentucky could never. No. Kentucky could literally never. You drive more on the potholes here than you do the actual road. But I bet the maintenance of that road is super crazy. Like, throughout the year. I bet they keep it in, like, pristine condition. This isn't a track. <laughs> this is a, this is a country road. Like, let's not get this sure. wrong. And it's fast. 
My friend and five times world champion Mick Doohan has come here for the first time. Sort of madness, you know. He's not racing, but on the parade lap, he got a taste of what it's like. First reaction, as soon as you saw the place, looked around, what was your first reaction? Yeah, I didn't need to come here to have that reaction. <laughs> it's just, uh, you know, as I say this, it, it, it really, you know, the, it is absolutely just beyond your wildest dreams to think that really? you can come here and race a motorcycle. Yeah. Dude, the I can't even imagine like... driving a motorcycle, okay? <laughs> I'm scared to even get on one and try to drive it. It's had its critics, but from the start, its danger was its attraction. True. Back then, racing was banned in England, and the island was the only place where there were no speed limits. Wow. The TT was born. That's cool. The voice of so there were, they, you couldn't race in England, so they, everybody just went to the island where there wasn't any speed limits and did it anyway. So that's pretty cool. Walker, you've got a great history here, haven't you? You've been how many years? First of all, let me say it's great to see a great Australian at a great race. Uh, to answer your question, Mark, I first came here in 1925. I was born in 1923. Uh, my father won here. I don't know how many times I've been here. Many, many, many times. Wow. In his 88 years, Murray Walker has seen some very good riders. And impressing him this year is our Aussie rider, Cameron. He's got a good bike, he's got some good backing, and he's still got the most important race of the week to come. So maybe, hopefully, he'll get it done. So it's people from all over the world. I was wondering if it was like only like people in the UK, or if like it was like people worldwide could come and race in it. But that dude's from Australia, so apparently you can. Each time Cameron sets out is an exercise in courage. Dude. Each lap is an anxious one for Karen, who gets radio updates on his progress. I see the worry in her face before I head out for a race, and sometimes I feel a little bit guilty for putting people close to me through that stress. True, because you never know, bro. In the week I was there, seven people lost their lives. Three riders and four members of the public. Bro! Seven people? And only three were riders, but the other people were just fans that were just sitting there watching or whatever. See, that's another crazy thing. Like, the fact that fans can get that close and, like, you would think they wouldn't let anybody anywhere near it, but that's one of, like, the, the things about it. Being that close to it, that's what that's one thing that makes it super awesome, but also super dangerous because, you know, seven people just died. Wow. ACU Events Limited regret to announce the death of Derek Bryan. Of lost a, a, a couple of friends in, in my years racing at the Isle of Man and I do think of them in the corners that they've uh, they've fallen in and uh, where Dobsey crashed is one of the most intense corners on the track. Dobsey, Paul Dobbs, died in the TT last year. Oh man. It's, you know, other people have said that you only really know that you're alive when you're almost not. True. True. Has your opinion of the TT changed based on what's no. happened? No? No. Yeah. Do you think it should be banned? You can't possibly ban it. I mean, I, I, I don't, I don't know if you could ban it if you tried. It's, it's like a monster. You yeah. Know, it's, it's bigger than. And also, ones. I feel like, to be a racer and be somebody that wants to race in the Isle of Man TT race, you have to ac accept that, like, okay, there is a very high chance that I don't make it back from this lap. You know, there, there's a possibility something really bad could happen. But I feel like you have to like accept that before you even decide, okay, I'm gonna race in it. And like you also gotta convince everybody in your family, like, hey, which sucks. Like it's really terrible, but that's just part of it. That's part of this race. That's why it's the world's most dangerous motorcycle race. Riders don't come here for the prize money. There's hardly any. The TT is simply about the glory of being the fastest. I feel like it's an accomplishment in itself, just making it back. Like, doing it once, and making it through the race, and then making it back, and being able to say that you got through the Isle of Man TT race, is probably the biggest accomplishment in the entire race. Like, yeah, it's cool to win it, I guess, it's cool to come in first, but just being able to say you did it, and you made it back safe, I think that's the best part of it. But alright guys, that is going to do it for today's reaction, dude. That truly is the craziest, like, race sport in the world. Nothing is more insane than this. Like, it's so awesome though. If y'all want to see me do more reactions like this, let me know by hitting that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you go out today. Spread love, spread kindness. Do something nice to my day. I love you guys so much. I really do. Shit, you're I'm out. Peace.